everyone, and welcome to the Chapter 2 preview. So in Chapter 2, we're going to be looking a lot at the properties of lines and angles, and sometimes it might be kind of confusing, so here's a few things that we should know before we even start. So if I have a line, the measure of that line, if I put my protractor on it, is 180 degrees. Now remember, to measure with a protractor, we place our T on a point, and we measure counterclockwise. So this is 0, all the way to 180 degrees. So if I split this line into two pieces by drawing an intersecting line, I now have that the whole line is equal to the sum of this angle plus this angle. So let's take my protractor and measure what one of these angles are. So I place my T on the intersection of the points and I measure counterclockwise. So here's my zero, and I'm going to measure this big angle, which looks to be... Oh, it's not quite right yet. 151... 2 degrees. 152 degrees. So now that I know that this angle measure is 152 degrees, it's really easy for me to find what this angle measure is without even having to use my protractor. Because I know that the whole line is 180 degrees. And I know that this part is 152 degrees. So 180 degrees equals 152 degrees plus, let's call this angle mm, beta. That's a great color. Plus angle beta. So now to find a beta by myself, if you remember your algebra rules, we need to subtract 152 degrees from both sides, and we get, we get 28 degrees is equal to beta. So beta is 28 degrees. Something else we should note when two lines intersect like this, the angles that are called vertically opposite are equal. The vertically opposite angles here this green guy, and this green guy, and this red guy, and this red guy. Those are called vertically opposite, because they're on opposite sides of the X. So now without doing any calculations, I know that my green angle on the bottom here is going to be equal to 152 degrees. And I know that my red angle, right here, is going to be equal to 28 degrees, because they're vertically opposite. 